Hello. I'd like to welcome and thank you for joining us to celebrate the groundbreaking of our new University of Iowa Children's Hospital. Your Children's Hospital. I'm Sheila Baldwin, and I'm pleased to be here today as the Assistant Vice President of Development for UI Children's Hospital and as a member of the steering committee helping to plan for our new hospital. We are very pleased to have representatives from the Board of Regents State of Iowa with us today. I will invite them to stand as I introduce them and we can acknowledge them as a group. Bob Downer, Chair of the Board of Regents UIHC Committee and from the board office, Joan Rackey and Todd Stewart. And Milt Dokovich. Thank you. We are also fortunate to be joined by a number of our elected officials from the Iowa legislature. I would again invite you to stand as I introduce you. Representative Dave Jacoby, Representative Art Stain, Representative Sally Stutzman, Senator David Johnson, who has his own personal connection to Children's Hospital as he was successfully treated for polio at UIHC, and Senator Rich Taylor. And representing our federal delegation, we have Dave Lesh from Congressman Dave Loebsack's office and Fred Schuster from Senator Chuck Grassley's office. We are extremely grateful for the leadership and support provided to the University of Iowa by the Board of Regents and our state and federal officials. They are our partners in all that we do here on campus and across the state, and we appreciate their efforts on our behalf. Please join me once again in thanking. While I'll briefly serve as MC for today's program, my most important role is to tell you about the treat that you are in for today. Many of you have had the opportunity to join us for groundbreaking ceremonies here on the University of Iowa campus in the past, and you've enjoyed remarks from many university, elected, and volunteer leaders. Breaking ground on a children's hospital is a once in a many generations opportunity truly something very special. And in that spirit of something special, today's program will be delivered entirely by our patients and their families. I mentioned earlier that I am a member of the new Children's Hospital Steering Committee, but I have an even more personal reason to feel so deeply passionate about our new Children's Hospital. You see, I was one of those patients. I am honored and grateful to say that I am a UI Children's Hospital success story myself, having been treated and cured of cancer 25 years ago as a 12-year-old, right up there on the third floor. And I'm even more honored to introduce our first speaker today, another UI Children's Hospital success story. Please help me welcome Blake Derby from Dubuque. Blake. I'm honored to be speaking to you today on what is a very special day for everyone touched by University of Iowa Children's Hospital. There are many people responsible for getting us to this point, celebrating the groundbreaking of our new UI Children's Hospital. I'd like to thank our elected and appointed leadership, University of Iowa, and UI health care leaders, donors who have invested in the project, patients, families, and hospital staff who shared their input, as well as their hopes and aspirations for our new hospital, and the architects and planners who are putting their skills to work to build the very best possible hospital for us, all of us. This is our children's hospital. I'm excited to tell you that construction officially began on our new hospital last fall, and three years from now, the doors of our new hospital will already be open. 
You may have seen the really big hole in the ground when you arrived today. Imagine our new children's hospital one day rising up from that spot. I'm also pleased to share that the fundraising campaign for our new hospital has reached its halfway mark. Over $26 million has already been raised to help build our new UI Children's Hospital. And now, to talk about what the new Children's Hospital will mean to the children of our state, I'd like to introduce Olivia Carnahan of Amana, Iowa. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to tell you about your children's hospital as a member of the hospital's Youth Advisory Council. For the past three years, I have learned a lot about what this hospital means to children and families throughout our state and region. UI Children's Hospital is the only children's hospital in the state that is part of an academic medical center and the only nationally ranked children's hospital in Iowa. Being recognized, recognized as one of the America's best children's hospitals is a symbol of the care, compassion, and dedication of the entire team. Doctors, nurses, researchers, and other healthcare staff. UI Children's Hospital has always been a great place because of our people. Now, those same people will have an even better place in which to continue to deliver great health care to the children of Iowa. Our new children's hospital will be a hub for a system of care. This means that we're not just building a building to take care of kids. We're really building a system throughout the state that will allow our children's team to work more closely with other health care providers to provide the best possible care for kids, not just here, but in communities across Iowa. Our Children's Hospital is truly for the children of Iowa, for those that need to come here for their medical care, to those who receive specialty care through our clinics in their own communities, to those whose parents rely on knowledge learned and shared here to keep their kids safe and healthy. And now to tell you why patients are so excited about our new children's hospital, I'd like to introduce Brian LaRue of Ottumwa, Iowa. I'm happy to share with you why I and other patients are so very excited about our new children's hospital. Along with several years of visits for appointments and procedures, I have spent two consecutive weeks at the University of Iowa Children's Hospital as being a hospitalized patient. I've also been involved in the planning of our new children's hospital by being a member of the Youth Advisory Council, otherwise known as YAC. <laughs> so trust me when I tell you, I'm very well versed on the matter. Each patient room will have a lot more space for kids who need to be hospitalized, to have a place to do their homework, play their video games, and hang out with their friends and family when they come to hang out with them. My job as a kid was to play, and as a teenager, my job is to relax and hang out. <laughs> so I'm very excited that there will be 12 designated areas to do such in the new children's hospital. These areas are where kids will be able to meet hang out, and get to know other hospitalized children and their families. If kids need to have surgery at the hospital or take x-rays, there are operating rooms and imaging suites designed especially for the pediatric patients. For children and family who need extended stays at our family or at our new children's hospital, there will be a theater, library, and a place to get ice cream. Although we are sick during our stays at the hospital, we are still children, and we get bored. And when we get bored, we revert to driving our parents crazy. <laughs> By having these fun locations in our children's hospital, we aim to prevent boredom. At this moment, I would like to recognize a very valuable member of our team at the Youth Advisory Council, Drew Wall. He, was unfortunately, he unfortunately passed away 
before he could see his team's ideas and dreams become a reality. See, I was asked earlier this month what I was most excited about that was going into our new University of Iowa Children's Hospital. And after many hours of reviewing notes of our meetings, I finally figured it out. See, it's kind of bittersweet, but once the foundation is poured and the walls are built, the ideas and dreams of Drew Wall will be alive once again. And that is what I am most excited about. Here today to share with you what our new children's hospital will mean to parents whose children rely on the care provided here by outstanding doctors, nurses, and other healthcare staff. I'd like to introduce Carrie, Bridget, and Jamie Schmidt of Dubuque. Thank you. When we were born, our parents spent 75 days with us in the hospital until we were big enough to go home. We are happy to hear that there will be lots of things in our new children's hospital that make it more comfortable for parents and families who need to be there to support their children. Like the beds in kids' rooms where parents can sleep, desks where they can do their work, spaces to go make phone calls to their family members back at home, and even spaces to exercise to help them, make care, to help them take care of themselves. These are important because kids need their parents to be with them when they are at the hospital to help them get better so they can all go home as a family. And now to tell you about all of the families who have helped make our children's hospital the very best it can be, we'd like to introduce Doug and Robin Wall of Cedar Rapids. Wow, those girls are great, huh? <laughs> Woo. Uh, good afternoon. We're the Walls. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Robin, and uh, I'm Doug, and we're members of the Children's uh, Family Advisory Council, and we're also here representing our son, Drew, who was a passionate member of the Youth Advisory Council. Uh, thank you, Brian, for that wonderful uh, speech you gave. I, we really appreciate that. And Drew is honored to be in, on your team, and he's very proud of the work you guys do. So thank you. Um, we can assure you that the Children's Hospital is being built with the input of hundreds of patients and parents just like us. Every decision is being made to ensure that the new Children's Hospital supports the very best medical care for all children. It will do so in an environment that is comfortable and, and children and family members all alike, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, grandparents, extended family and friends. And because providing pediatric health care is very different than adult medicine, children's medicine involves the entire family. Caring for the sick child is a family affair, and we can attest to that. We, we spent over 250 nights here in the last five years uh, caring for Drew. And for that reason, our new children's hospital provides respite space for each unit so that a parent can have some quiet time uh, without having to leave the unit. Also, the environment plays such an important role in healing, and we're so pleased that each room uh, has individual lighting control, uh, temperature control, uh, sound. Uh, each room is designed with the family in mind. This world-class facility is being built to match the skills and talents of all the people that work here, and that's the most important thing. The doctors, the nurses, the researchers, and all the rest of the staff, uh, they deserve this place. They're world-class and uh, the children and families too, so thank you so much. Uh, today, we're gathered to celebrate the spirit of the hospital and for patients and families that have been served by this place for the last 100 years and for generations and for patients yet to come. I'll introduce Robin here. Doug and I are here today because we believe in our new children's hospital and the impact that it will make on children and families. Our son Drew truly believed in this new hospital. We think that you're here today because you believe too. When you arrived today, you received a fan that says believe. As a very visual way to demonstrate our common support for this new hospital, if you believe in your new children's hospital, please raise your hand. 
Now that's a group that believes. As a final way to celebrate the spirit of our new children's hospital and to celebrate all the patients and families, healthcare staff and supporters who are dreaming about the impact it will one day make, we invite you to enjoy, to enjoy an inspirational song that truly celebrates the opportunity to dream. We'd like to introduce the Chameleons, <laughs> a group of our own caregivers from the University of Iowa Children's Hospital who have a passion for music and students from the 6th Street Studio in West Branch are joining them to sing Dream Big.
today is day for us to truly dream big about our new University of Iowa Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for sharing that song, and thanks to all of today's speakers for sharing your heartfelt messages. You know, as we begin planning for today's groundbreaking ceremony for this program, we hoped we could find a way to share with all of you the feeling of inspiration that we get every day from getting to work with these patients and families. And I hope that we've been able to do that today. In a few moments, our program will conclude. We invite you to stay, enjoy refreshments and one another's company here on the patio, and even get your photo taken with a gold shovel if you like. I'd like to thank you for joining us to celebrate your new University of Iowa Children's Hospital and for being part of this special occasion. To conclude today's ceremony and to commemorate this milestone, that ground has indeed been broken on the way to building our new children's hospital, we would like to close with a ceremonial turn of the dirt. We have asked our state and university leaders to be part of this occasion and we've arranged help for them from some very special children. Accompanying State of Iowa Board of Regents member Bob Downer and representing patients who benefit from multi-specialty health care that can be found only at an academic level children's hospital is patient Pamela Quintero Rodriguez. Accompanying University of Iowa President Sally Mason and representing the family members who serve an important role on the UI Children's Hospital care team, the brother of a patient, Dominic Weaver. <laughs> Accompanying Vice President for Medical Affairs, Dr. Jean Robillard, and representing those patients who have been successfully treated at UI Children's Hospital is former patient Cal Kunert. <laughs> Accompanying Ken Cates, CEO of University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, and Scott Turner, Executive Director of UI Children's Hospital, and representing those patients being cared for at UI Children's Hospital today and for generations of patients to come is patient Anna Dvorak. <laughs> Accompanying UI Carver College of Medicine Dean Dr. Deborah Schwinn and Chair of the Department of Pediatrics Dr. Raphael Hirsch and representing patients whose treatments have been impacted by the research and education missions of our institution is patient Leslie Kamura. <laughs> and finally, accompanying chair of the UI Children's Hospital Council, Mary Ferentz, and representing the donors who have made this day and this new hospital possible are Madison Durr, Clay Jardine, and Bo Jansen, grandchildren of Ann Jardine and the late Russ Jardine, whose family last fall announced a landmark $12 million gift in support of our new children's hospital. As the photographer's shutter clicks away at this fantastic assembled group, I'd like to close by once again thanking all of you for joining us to celebrate this special day. Thank you.